Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create 3 simple title animations inside of it Film Express. So the first title animation is a simple linear fade animation. So all you have to do is select your text layer and then select rectangle mask tool and just create a mask around your text like so. Expand the mask, go to shape and expand the feather strength. And then you can just simply go to your transform under mask and keyframe the position. So I'm going to go to one second in time, create a keyframe on position, go back to the very first frame and I can just move it to the left side like so. And now if you play the animation, this is how it is going to look. It looks really simple and elegant. Our second title animation is a um, title or text reveal animation and it's also pretty easy to do. Now all you have to do is create a little shape and for that we'll create a new plane layer and let's call this shape. For the width and height I'm going to set the width to 20 and height to 100 and let's give it a yellow color and click on OK. And I can just position this uh, shape on the left side of my text over here and just zoom in and just try to align it in the center. And now you can simply animate the shape layer so just expand it go to transform and the first animation is going to be on the scale. So let's create a keyframe on scale. I'm going to unlink it and set it to 0 at the first frame. Let's move forward 10 frames and set it back to 100. So we'll have a simple animation like so. And from the 10 second, I'm going to create a keyframe on position. Move forward to 1 second in time and change the position and bring it to the right side of the text. I can select everything and uh, click on this icon to convert the keyframes to manual bezier. So if you take a look at it, this is our overall animation. You can also enable motion blur if you wish to do so. We need to hide our text behind a curtain and for that we will create a new layer or we can just duplicate this background layer and call it matte and just put it at the top and real quick I'm just going to apply a fill color on this so we can just differentiate it from the background all right there is our matte layer I'm going to click on this icon that says layer visibility and I'm just going to move to the 10th frame and uh, that's because that is where we created our position keyframe on the shape so I'm going to move to that position in the timeline and I'm going to select my math layer and just make sure the right side of the math layer is on top of that shape like so and now all you have to do is just parent it to the shape layer so click on that and now you can see that the if you enable the math layer it should have the similar animation as the shape layer now we just have to hide this layer the math layer so let's just hide this all right now we need to hide our text and to do that we will use the set matte effect and we'll apply it on the layer that we want to hide in our case we're going to apply it on the text and we will change the source layer and we're going to select our curtain which in our case is matte which is responsible for hiding and unhiding our layer so we'll just set the blend to subtract and click on the invert option so now if you take a look at the animation now the last one is our typewriter text animation to create this we are going to use the similar technique as we did in our second title over here. So we'll just duplicate the background over here and I'm going to call this matte, put it at the top and apply a fill color on this. Okay, so we can differentiate it from the background. And I'm also I'm just going to hide this matte layer for now. I'll just add a little cursor to the right side of the text. So I have this shape right over here. So I'm just going to drag that in and just resize it and you can just position it right over here i'm just going to resize this and position it properly like so we can also rename this to cursor okay and we can just start creating our animation over here i'm going to create my opacity keyframe at the very first frame set it to zero at the first frame move 10 frames forward and set it to 100 move 10 frames forward set it to zero move 10 frames forward set it to 100 so we'll just keep on repeating this i'm going to copy and paste this over and just copy all of these and paste it over all right so if you take a look at it we have this blinking cursor animation cool now what we can do is by using this matte layer we can create our typewriter effect and to do that we'll just first of all unhide the layer and we'll just reduce the opacity so that we can see our text and i'm just going to position it to the left side of my text right over here create a keyframe on position just zoom in so that we can do this properly 
and make sure you create a keyframe at the very first frame so just drag it to the very first frame and then we can move 10 frames forward change the position and just cover your first letter and once you do that then you can just randomize it go between 5 to 10 frames so i'm going to move 5 frames forward or maybe 6 frames and i'm just going to reveal my second letter then you can move maybe 8 frames forward and just reveal your third letter move maybe like 5 or 6 frames and just move your second last letter just move 10 frames forward and this time we'll cover our last letter over here and i'm going to select all of these keyframes and convert the keyframes to constant keyframes and now you can hide your mat layer we don't want that to be visible and we will again use our set mat effect and apply it onto our text layer since that is what we are going to hide and unhide so in the set mat we set the source layer to our curtain which is our mat layer set the blend to subtract and click on the inward option so now if you go to the very first frame you play your animation and you have that typewriter kind of effect now i want this cursor to be right next to the mat layer over here so i'm going to enable it again and i'm going to select my cursor and i can just position it right next to that layer and i can just hide this mat layer again and all you have to do is just parent cursor to the mat layer so now if you play your animation you should have this cool text animation with the cursor with the blinking cursor all right so that is pretty much it that's how you can create this last and final text animation so that is it for this video i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one